Laura again. I think I told you I was able to get admission to four university and I promise that today I will give you tips and advice when you are applying for a university. Let's get to the video. Wait, first subscribe to her channel, like, comments and share the video. Okay, there is seven main points I will talk about. First, have a lot of options. You, if you are applying to a university, don't do not apply to only one university. You can apply to at least two university because if you if you don't get admission to one university, you are literally doomed. So it's better to have a lot of plans. Plan E, B, C, D, whatever. There is twenty six letter in the alphabet. So. You need to apply to a lot of university to have a lot of options and in the case one will not work, the other will work. Two is your grade book, the exam board, whatever. Just make sure that you got good grades at school. I think this one is for the students who are still at school, like they still need to, to take the high school final exam. I think this one for them. It's really important that you got good grades. It's really important. Sometimes people say that it's not that important, but it, it is important because there is some school which have on average you must have to attend the university and if you don't have that average you want to get you want to be able to attend the university so make sure that you got good grades at school it's important three three is a type where for when you are applying to the like during the process of the application if you are applying and you are request, they request some document, but you don't have the document yet. For example, you take um, the 12 text exam. If you don't have your results yet, you can take a screenshot because they will send you a mail. You will take a screenshot of the mail from the 12 which says that you took the test and then uh, passed it in a Word document and you can upload it instead of the TOEFL exam result, and then you 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 will write to the to the school to explain them the situation. I promise you that they will understand your situation. Okay, you can do it for whatever document. For example, me when I was applying, they asked me for my police clearance, but I didn't have it. But then I requested it, and instead of the police clearance, I uploaded the document which said that, okay, this girl requested it, she will, res she will receive it this date, so the school can wait for me to, up to upload that. So that's, that's an important tip, which is very helpful. Okay, it's very helpful. For if you if you are used to apply for stuff online, you will know that for most of them there is a mail which is from for the mail of the there is always a mail at the end saying help center or support center. This mail is really important. I know that when you write to them that they don't respond very fast it can take 24 hours or something like that and also above 24 hours but don't dis be disappointed by that or discouraged by that if you have any problem write to, to them don't be like me thinking that you can solve the problem by yourself because if you do that 
the, the whole thing will not work out for you. So write it to them and apart from from writing to them you can also try to solve your problem because they 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 are like they are used to to the process they are used to helping students so i don't know the problem you will bring to them and they won't be able to give you a solution to that so even if they don't reply fast write to them if you have any problem okay Be reactive. Like you ask for for help from them, but you need to be reactive. Like they they are trying to help you and they are requesting a document. You need to be fast about giving them the document so that they will know that you are really involved in the situation. Like they are trying to help you and you don't respond. It means that the problem is not a big deal for you or you are not very interested in solving the problem. Yes. So be creative and reply fast, 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 fast to, de to them. Okay. Six. Six. Show your interest. Show your interest. It's the same thing as being, as being creative. Like you show that you are really involved in the situation and like you really want to attend the university like any occasion you got to show your interest show your interest like you really want to to, in, to attend the university i i promise you that it will make a big difference because me i think that it if i was not like really showing my interest like i was going i was having a lot of problem during the application so they, they could have leave, left me like that like they are tired of it of this girl so show your interest if you are even if you are applying for if you are applying for two university for example but you are more interested in one of the university don't say that okay i'm more interested in this university so i'm going to dedicate a lot of my time to this university so that it will work it won't work for you maybe you will you will lose even the two university you have to put the same effort in applying for the two universities okay seven the last but not the least pray it's important pray I don't feel, I don't know how there's some people who live like that without praying. I, I don't I don't I don't really understand. But you need to pray for God to help you to like overcome all the stresses and like overcome all the challenges you will meet and help you making the good choice like what do you think I was able to choose between four universities I was really interested in? I remember the, the day that the universities accepted me. I was so, 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 so confused. And my dad was just like, okay, take a sheet of paper, mark the pro and the cons of each university, and then pray and go to sleep. And tomorrow you will, you will tell me your choice. And I promise you that when I wake up the next morning, all that was in my mind was HSS and that is the university I chose. Like, so pray. I think that this is God plans. Yes, this is God plans. Okay, so pray. It's, a really, it's really important. And one advice, one last advice is it's not about the, the university, but praying, praying in all the situations. Pray for whatever you want. Pray for, I don't know, I don't know, pray. Okay, pray. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the second part and last part of my video about my, my uni story. I hope that you enjoyed it and it was, the second part was helpful. So like, comment and share and see you next time for my next video which won't be about university
it will be about something else. So, bye. She forgot, but not me. Thank you to all of you who watched her first video, liked and shared. She loves you, and send you all the worst.